G'day, today we're going to have a look at the weekly challenge uh, for this week, which is Tokyo. Um, and it has three conditions. We start with all nine motorways. Um, some colours of destinations are always circles, and we start with nine traffic lights. Now, if you haven't yet got the achievement Mum's Spaghetti, where you've got to use all nine motorways, this week is the week to, to sneak that achievement out, because all you got to do is just play this one and just lay them all out, and you'll, uh, you'll be set. So, it is great to have those nine motorways, and we definitely are going to use them. Uh, we won't use them straight off the bat, uh, because we're sort of... Obviously, we're not going to connect this guy to a motorway to here. Um, this is also a very nice setup that we're, we're starting with here. Uh, I might make that go a little bit more direct as well. So I'll just get him on there. So what we'll do, obviously, is to start with, we're just going to get our direct connections. We're going to attempt to segregate everyone. Another um, comment on the achievements for um, for weekly challenges and the daily challenges. I noticed that the um, the weekly challenge achievement of, of posting a score four times on weekly challenges is, is still a very rare achievement. Um, I just wonder if one misconception with that is that you have to play four different levels, uh, which isn't the case. Um, if it's day one of you playing the game, if you play the same one weekly challenge four times, um, you get that achievement. So it's um, yeah, definitely much easier than its, I think, 0.1% completion rate suggests. Alright, so we've got these two warehouses connected to the same line, which isn't going to be our long-term solution here but since we've only got three houses we don't have much choice for for separating them at this point I suppose it is nice they gave us three houses since they gave us a circular blue one so maybe I just think I'm being spoiled in blue but it's actually just um, they're just trying to help us out a little bit so what we'll do is we will initiate Highway 1. I don't see the point of that actually, since we can now just sort of... So you can potentially just run across the top, there's no point in him running down to get to a motorway then we can possibly as easily run across the top just to get to the actual uh, warehouse. Alright, we'll take the bridge, because we've already got four traffic lights that we probably won't spend. No real nice spot for this Highway 1 to sit, it's going to be out of the way. And definitely the grouping of housing that this guy has is really picture perfect. Um, and this highway will most likely move to a, another location if we get more houses um, that, that are more suitable. It's very tempting to just kick into the straightaway using um, those, um, those motorways, but we will do a conventional waste of two bridges here instead. Now in my last game I blocked out that island uh, because it came up with all the yellow houses uh, and they're just sort of more an inconvenience than anything. Um, so with all my my road I might just block it out again. Just force yellow to go somewhere else because I've already got purple running through the middle of their um, their area. If they do have yellow houses, they're going to be on that side and this side of this this road, which isn't going to really be convenient. So I'll just make them come somewhere else, which I think will probably be up here somewhere, as where yellow otherwise will show up. Now the way to making the most possibly efficient map 
is to reduce the amount of intersections that you have. So even this guy here having this intersection is a bit of a downer um, for him. Bummer that I don't have any way to jump over there short of using a motorway. Oh well. I suppose it's got a use at least. I keep it's, I think instinctually I'm I'm disappointed that I don't get a motorway each time um I get offered houses. Uh offered houses each time I reach the end of the week. Um forgetting that I've already got all nine. Alright, now I know that all my, well, I called them rose gold, but there was plenty of debate in my last Tokyo video, and the consensus, consensus seems to be ham, so I will call them my ham houses. I did like um, the suggestion as well that they're flesh, um, it's definitely a, probably my favourite suggestion of, of what it's called, so we're just going to shift that across to the end. Just so these guys can sort of run in the right direction of, of where their um, factory is, and then just hit the, the motorway in stride. These f ham coloured houses. Still got two bridges, lovely, so we will take advantage of them. And luckily, the yellow houses are coming up conveniently, not down here. Just keep taking these bridges. Still thinking about what I can do to get these guys to here without having to burn a motorway. Now, these three guys are starting to look primed to take over the duties. I'd probably say these guys. And these guys can just sort of be divided. So let's move him and we'll shift that guy through there and then this guy can go help out, help out at the top. And then these two guys can shift down and aid this guy on his own. Now I have enough bridges that I could make this journey but I'm going to opt just for a motorway. Because it's a pretty far journey that those guys would be making. Alright. So now we've got to re... Um, use these three dudes. We'll give him that one guy to there for now. And we'll just run these guys straight across. Flip him around. And flip him around. And we've just got to keep an eye on how this guy does with just two houses operating him. Especially with one so far away, who now has to also take care of a different factory on his own. Okay, this guy to here. Um, I guess these two guys come back into play as our assistance to him. And I mean, I do feel severely under understaffed for blue housing. Um, I suppose part of it was that all, some colours just always show up as, as circles. And I guess that blue and ham are our two are our two lucky candidates. Sorry. Give this guy at least two to look after him. So it's three houses that looking after him, two after this guy, two after this one, two after him. 
three, he's got three, and he's got three. More ham. where I wonder if what I should do is pivot this community. Let's think. So if we knock this out, knock that out, and clear all that, because we're going to have to build a highway to here, so why don't we not see if we can get a yellow community on there that can do that job close up. And what we will do is break that, connect these two, and let this community do both of those at the moment. And I do still have five motorways. I'll put them closer to the, the more severe of them. Um, disconnect him and let him go a bit more, just sort of direct up. Um, and there's something else that needed addressing, I believe, this yellow guy down here. Alright, that's why we cleared that island off. So what we'll do is we'll flip him around, we will then join this guy onto that one, and then we will send these three guys I don't want to put them on that side, so let's just cancel that. Shift him over there. And then we'll let this one go on that side. That is a very long way for these guys to have to travel. But as long as that's a square, this, this might work. Maybe. Now, we've also put these three red houses off here and done nothing with them. Um... It's just its own funny little mess. These guys are doing okay for now. This guy's actually doing okay with his one house because it's so close. So that was nice. That gives us three houses going to him, three going to him. My way to give these guys to that. Take the bridge. We have a lot of bridges. One feels we could use more of them. Any way we can get these guys across to there without having to burn a motorway? So much ham. When did you show up? Again, that feels like a bit of a waste. Alright, let's pivot them. Get rid of Highway 4. We'll let that be addressing that. Um, these guys can possibly go and help here if uh, if they start to struggle. Can we get rid of Highway 1? What we'll do is we'll just swing these guys. These two guys can go around the edge, and then these two guys can um, 
connect into him. It does mean they've also got, like, say, this guy here still operating with just one... Uh, one house. Okay. This is still the puzzle here for me. These two guys in, in this set of houses. So let's flip these guys around now. It's given us four houses there and we can make that five. And we will take highway one. And just hop them over there. This does stretch out that little bit there, so we can just connect a couple of guys here. And again, we do just have this guy just hanging on, just doing one house, doing the work. Uh, but it is fine work that he is doing. Who's not happy? Oh, this purple that I've given no attention to. Seems reasonable. Okay, so let's connect four houses here. And swing them down to address him. Again, that feels like a waste actually because there's three houses right here. They can actually probably just do that. So what we'll do is we'll use that Highway 4 to try and just do a quick addressing of the fact that I've overlooked this guy and let him go um, get in danger. And um, But once I've sort of cleaned him up, then we hopefully can just leave it to these three guys to, to take care of. There, a guy here that we can probably make life a bit easier for this guy that's struggling. So much ham. Okay, some use for that ham. We have an extra line up here, so we can join a few extra of these guys to this setup. Uh, we will do them a little stretch out there and use them as highway 8. Okay, do we have the houses to do this. Now the good news is that this guy here has come to the aid of, of that square, so that's definitely a, a blessing. Uh, we finally have got our houses on this island, so what we can do is move this highway to there, reduce the amount of distance these guys are having to travel. So we'll get a few more purple houses connected here if we can, because these guys are definitely starting to struggle. Um, the question there is whether we can take care of part of that with just houses on the ground, and I'm going to say yes. So I'm going to leave this guy with the highway, and we'll leave him with one, two, three, four, five houses and with these four do I give him six? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah you can have six. Spoil him. I do hate it when I make a mistake in a bridge and have to redo the whole thing. And we'll let those four guys because generally the squares aren't too bad. So um so hopefully they can take care of, of that guy. But need be we can uh, we can shift one of these houses across. 
we forgot about this guy down here because I don't have a strategy. Okay, let's flip him up so he's a little bit of a shorter route. Uh, these four houses here, we will give Highway 9, which now means that we're out of highways. And they can head over there and try and quickly address that mistake I've overlooked. Now luckily he is just a square over there, so hopefully that will be a pretty easy fix. We will let that guy connect because he's the closest one to the road. Oh, that's a mistake I made there. I accidentally pulled him off this, this lower road. Apologies for anyone yelling at me if I, if I, if I overlook that one for so long. Now this guy here is a problem. He's only got two houses addressing him, and it is finally reaching a point where he's uh, he's at breaking. Now all of these guys are under housed. The whole system is uh, is very light on for houses for blue. We've got five houses looking after him, six houses looking after him. We'll see if we can get this guy. We've got 72 tiles. Oh, we can't even get up and around. Okay. So. Now, none of these cars are actually doing anything at the moment. So what I'm going to do is just build this line like that. Because he's going to get used. And he's actually not going to get in the way of these guys at all. Because they're not doing anything. So the congestion that's potentially going to be there is actually very minimal. Uh, this guy again can connect there, and I mean potentially if this was starting to overload we could make this connection here, um, but that could possibly work against it. Okay, now this guy is getting fed up with how long he's having to wait for traffic to, to get to him. Send, connect everyone we've got up there, and hopefully he calms down a little bit. We are very under yellow factoried here, um, since we've only got the two. Uh, this guy here is going uh, critical as well. So let's have a quick look to see what we can do to try and um, maneuver around. So, we if we can give... Have we got any highways that are going to squares? And I think the answer is only this guy here, and this guy here. Now this guy here can sort of be addressed. Because um, what we can do, is we can blow away that bridge, and instead, we can't do it while the bridge is still there. So instead what we can do is just build a sort of a makeshift bridge along the top. And then... What we'll do is put this community of blue passage onto here that will allow them to run to this guy. And yellow can then go around the top. Now, it doesn't mean that yellow will be slowed down. I don't like that at all. You'd look a different direction. Ugh. At least I can correct that one. Okay. And... Yes. Then what that means is that we can get rid of Highway 7. We can then work out our numbers here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So um, we'll wait for Highway 7 to clear away very impatiently because we are in all sorts of trouble. I'm just going to keep my mouse on it just so I remember to pay attention to it when it 
once it finally goes away. Great, okay, so then what we're going to do is pull these two guys off that road. We'll get them to just look at each other straight in the eye and Under there, no, hang on. Just get them to join like that. Now, what we'll do as well, actually, is we might just flip that guy around momentarily, um, just to give them an extra set of hands while they're trying to address that that problem. Since this guy here has no issues. Um, Dark Blue's going into a bit of a frenzy though. And none of these Dark Blue guys are actually doing anything anymore either, so let's see if we can get them to help out. And we should actually try and get a few more Dark Blue guys on this connection too, I'd say. And luckily I don't think Yellow's trying to use too many of these guys at the bottom. Um, so it's Dark Blue's only getting in its own way. This guy's much better off now. So let's just keep an eye on this guy. He is really uh, temperamental. Alright. Since we've just given... Can I guys off that, does he have the amount of slack that he could be alright with the idea of that happening? This guy's are currently only dealing with two houses, so we'll give him back someone. If I had any red houses over here at all, this guy would not be wasting one of my, uh, my freeways. Alright, we've got to think about what we can do to, to fix this guy, and I think that this Kazista guy is still going pretty pretty hard, so I can't now steal this back off him to try and address him quickly. Um, there's no real way that I could get Dark Blue over here on just a straight road as opposed to using the highway. Um, same goes for sort of Purple, I don't think that they're in enough of a situation to, um, to try and clear that up. These guys are starting to, to flounder as well. Let's give them another house. We'll give them this guy. I mean, the fact that all four of those cars immediately go suggests that this guy is, uh, is not in a good way. So let's, let's just absolutely drown him, I guess. Now, what I should do, actually, at this point, because I've got so many bridges, is actually build a bridge across here. Get out of my way. And then across there. So that all of these guys on the bottom end, I should have done that moments before as opposed to just then, don't have to, to go through this ah, bottleneck. But it is too late for that. I have already forced them through the bottleneck, except for this one guy. See that bottleneck is currently a disaster, and yellow is now needing help at the top too. So yellow is all sort of pulling out all stops to to get up there. So let's see if we can get more yellow houses on that top network. I mean, I could I could try disconnecting yellow just to sort of stop them using these these bottom houses. good news is if this guy can survive the sudden first surge, then I think that he'll be a lot, uh, in a lot better way. Now purple here isn't happy either. Good, he's he's looking a lot better than he Sorry, purple here. I realise if I point at my screen with my finger, that's not going to do much for anybody. Um, okay, so this purple guy down here is now our, our problem. Um, but I don't quite know what we can do to address it. I 
think we've more just reached that point where we're at 4,600 and just see if we can make it to 5,000 before uh, our entire network collapses. Looks like this guy here might be our, uh, our first to go, I'd say. Sneak 5,000, yep, there we go, 5,000 just just before we crashed. Beautiful, there we go. I mean, definitely for anyone that's watched all my videos, you'll know that if you give me nine motorways, I'm definitely gonna, gonna have a bit of fun. Um, any questions or comments, feel free to chuck them below. Till next time, catch you later.